Are you ready for this path full of monsters? Hello and welcome my rogue monster leaves. Today we are gonna test a little game called Monster Path. It's basically a monster collecting roguelike JRPG. And well I always was interested in the look like genre and I am a bit of a fan of monster taming games if you cannot tell by my other content and stuff. So yeah, why not have a look? Let's go! Before we really start off, there is one little thing that I think is very nice that they did. Streaming? Put your camera here and you won't block any game elements. That's awesome! That's really nice of them. I am not streaming this game, thus you don't see my face, but hey, it's cool. So when you are streaming that game, keep that in mind. And with that, play. There was a little dragon there. No, it's a flying squirrel. Okay. And it delivers a letter to us. So I guess it's story time. Okay, and right after that little story bit, we are straight into the first choice to make. So we can face two enemies over here, or one over here, or none at all. Though I guess you will need some XP, so let's enter the first battle and see how this goes. Of course we are going to attack. Okay, the game is hitting you with a lot of tutorials, but that's not a bad thing. That is what should happen once you start a new game, right? Okay, and after getting rid of the enemy, which is easy as it should be for a game like this, honestly, we have the choice again. I guess this is the roguelike element of it. We can befriend the monster thus gain more XP per follower, or we can gain one spark, which is the currency used to unleash strong attacks. But for this, let's go with Befriend, I wanna see the monsters after all. So after having the tutorials done, let's go through a battle in its completeness. We press attack and then we're gonna check on the enemy, it's a normal type, you know there are four types in this. Normal has neither weaknesses nor advantages, while fire beats grass, grass beats water and water beats fire. Sounds similar? Hmm, no idea where that might come from, it's just your imagination. But like, if it's a normal type and we only have water gun, let's just go for smash which is stronger. Boing. And well, the sugar glider took some damage. We ourselves do not take that much damage, but I like that the game eases you in in the beginning. That's a good thing. So, a few more turns and this is defeated, I guess. Yeah, one more and then we have it. Or not, there's still one HP left. Let's do a slap. And again, we can choose to befriend or release, but we're gonna befriend again. With us being back on the map, we actually have another choice here, which I did not think could happen. We can go down and take that enemy on as well. So I guess we should, right? And after defeating it, this time, we take a spark. Oh, power activation. We leveled up as well. And thus, we can learn a new move. And I would say, something elemental makes sense. We do have to exchange it for something else though. So, bye bye prepare. And while we are at it, some skeletons attack us. Okay, interesting. So let's defeat those. 
while we talk about the graphics. And I have to say, while they seem a bit rough around the edges still, they have a lot of charm to them and I honestly really like them. Everything is colorful and, well, it's just nice to look at. Which is really good. Every color pops, even the grays pop out and the shading and all that you can see is done nicely. The character designs themselves also work really good. I like how our hero has that red scarf. Can you tell I'm a Kamen Rider fan? And we suffered our first defeat. Okay. Disclaimer, I have not played any roguelike, so I'm not sure what happens now. I'm just back at the title screen. And the story goes again. It's the same as before. But we surely take something over. That's how that works, right? Ah, the map has changed. Okay. So we have other enemies here now. Hmm. Oh well, let's try again and hopefully this time we can finish a complete round, like getting to the end here. So, we have actually arrived, uh, after needing to start another round, at the end of one of these things. So, what will happen? Will it just take us to a new map? Or there is story to be seen there? Okay, interesting. After that little bit of story, we are back on the map again. And, well, we have some new monsters we can collect. Which, well, this looks very interesting. However, this can heal us. But can we defeat it? I guess this is a thing we try. So, let's do that. Well, it successfully defeated us. But well, this is what you expect of a roguelike. Now, let's get into my thoughts about the game as a whole, having played it for a bit. Now, let's go over it. Well, Monster Path is a fun little game. It doesn't do anything crazy or something, but that's what you can expect for a 7 euro or dollars. I guess it's seven dollars as well game so yeah it's a neat little game for in between and I think especially on the phone it's very very fun especially when you're waiting for something like your train a tree falling from the sky why do trees fall from the sky where you live you're weird but yeah will I recommend it mm. If you're interested in roguelikes, or like them in general, and need something small scale, yeah, go for it. I guess it's the game for you. So, that's my review of it. Tell me in the comments below what you think about the game. Will you get it? I would be eager to see that. Also, do not forget to walk to the right by classing, classing? clicking the like and subscribe button as well as that little bell to keep updated whenever I upload a video for you. Also check out the links down in the description below where you can find the Steam page to this game as well as my Twitter, Instagram and Discord where I post stuff, keep you updated, all the good things. And my Twitch where I live stream every Friday, Saturday, Sunday and that's it. So I hope you see you over there as well and until next time, bye me!